When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit, who is God, comes to live inside us and he makes us more like Jesus. In God's true book, we're told that he does this in nine ways. This is the second way the Holy Spirit makes us more like Jesus. He makes us more joyful. This is the second fruit of the Spirit. Joy. What is joy? Does it just mean happy? Now that's a great question. When Jesus spoke about joy, he didn't just mean happy. Joy is something bigger than feeling happy. Now what things make you happy? Something that makes me happy is food. But after a while, I feel hungry again, and that makes me sad. Happiness we can feel sometimes. Joy is something we can have all the time, because happiness comes from people and things. But joy comes from special people that love us. Imagine two people, one having fun on a beach in the sunshine and one in hospital with a broken leg. Oh dear. Which one feels more happy? Probably the one on a beach. But if they've both got special people that love them, they can both be equally joyful. Jesus, when he was on earth, was a really joyful man. He was joyful because he loved his father and his father loved him. Joy is a result of special people that love us. When Jesus died on the cross, he showed everyone that he loved them. He was taking away their sin, the wrong things they had done, and was separated from God instead of us. When we believe and follow Jesus, we are loved by God and become part of his family. And that means no matter where we are, if we're playing on a beach in the sun, or if we have a broken leg in hospital, we can always have joy. Because joy comes from the special people that love us. God's true book tells us that Jesus went to the cross to die because of the joy that he was going to have afterwards. And do you know what that joy was? It was the special people that were going to love him. Jesus loves his followers. They have a really special relationship, and so the longer we're following Jesus, the more joy we will have, because joy comes from special people that love us. And Jesus loves us enough to want to spend forever with us. I wonder, will you follow him today and let the Holy Spirit help you become more joyful?